personally absolutely adore film photography. It's become one of my favourite types of the craft, and even though I'm still relatively new to it, I've stuck a lot of time and love into learning this new side of it. There's one big problem though, and it's affecting film photographers old and new. Film is just too f***ing expensive now. There are several factors contributing to the increased prices of film photography. Firstly, there's the demand for film equipment and supplies that have grown significantly in recent years, from an increased interest from a younger generation who want to pick up the tools of the past and create lasting memories in a new format, to the film community on YouTube and TikTok that has grown exponentially, with all kinds of analog-focused content taking over the algorithms. As more people become interested in the unique aesthetic and tactile experience of shooting film, the demand for film cameras, lenses, and film stocks has increased. This sudden jump in demand has caused prices to rise, as suppliers and manufacturers seek to maximise their profits. Then there's the production of film cameras and other equipment that has become more expensive. With the rise of digital photography, many manufacturers have scaled back or just straight up discontinued the production of film cameras. This has led to a decrease in supply and corresponding increase in prices. Additionally, the cost of producing film stocks has also increased due to the limited availability of raw materials and the high cost of maintaining specialised equipment. Kodak, as recently as last month, raised the prices by a whole 10-25% to depending on the stock to supposedly offset the cost of having to hire more workers to produce said film. Although, I am pretty sure that they are doing pretty much everything but producing new film, because Kodak, what is this? Finally, the pandemic also had an impact on the prices of film. With the disruptions to global supply chains, the cost of importing and shipping photography equipment and supplies to consumers became more expensive. And on top of all of this, development and scanning costs from labs have become insane, and the initial cost to develop and scan yourself is already high, and can be extremely intimidating for newcomers, although it is a better investment in the long run. As I've been shooting my new photo project, I've realised just how much I'm going to end up spending on the production of my negatives, as I just don't have a suitable environment at home to be able to develop. It's rough out there right now. There's a cost of living crisis, and people are spending less on film. It hasn't entirely put me off though. It is true, these price hikes are frustrating. And if we're being realistic, the price of film is really unlikely to decrease anywhere in the near future. If anything, we should probably expect another increase in the coming year. But, this aside, it is really important to remember that the analog community is still thriving. There are so many affordable options available for those who want to get started with film photography, and the experience of shooting film remains as compelling as ever. There are artists out there every single day, favourites of mine and new ones I'm discovering, finding ways to maximise every single penny they spend on film, and witnessing that keeps me going.